Good evening, dudes and dudettes. Tonight on Let's Talk About Games, we're gonna talk about an itty bit of little tiny game called Avenger Bird. Now, I got emailed a code for this last night, and I was like, let me pop it in, check it out. And immediately seeing the art style, I was like, whoa. And then I started to play, and I was like, this is kind of fun. And I looked on the eShop, it's $2.30. So, I mean, it's not the biggest game in the world. There's four worlds and 32 levels. And what you do is you play as a little teeny bird who just had three eggs hatch. And then bird hops away, go get some uh, little twigs and stuff. To f I mean, I guess they're worms, they're worms uh, for the birds. And then another bird comes with a cage and snatches them. So you're trying to get your, your babies back, which I'm a daddy, I can relate to that. So there's a little overworld here and you can only play with the joystick. And this is a little bird and yeah, it's I mean, it's a little teeny tiny indie game, but it's way more fun than you would think. And it's not great, but I mean, check it out. Just look at it. If you got 45 minutes and you probably have some extra, uh, extra Nintendo bucks, that would easily cover this. So let's check out the mechanics of this game. This is a 2D platformer, but the mechanics are a little bit different. Um, first off, it's a collect-a-thon game, but it's a mandatory collect-a-thon game. Not like Mario, where you can just get them if you want to. These, you have to get every single little coin to open up the door, or else you'll just be in the level. Um, now, you do have lives, so you have um, three lives, which is four tries, because you go on zero, like the old games. Um, and then if you get game over, you go back to the overworld map, and you just have to try the level again. So. Let's check out the mechanics. So you don't jump, you fly. And your flight is connected to this little green meter in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. And then you can do it in a little burst, but once you're out, you gotta touch the ground again for it to get refilled. And so you have fly, and then you have glide. You can see the glide has a little red meter and that runs out too. So what you have to do, you don't have any attack. You're a peaceful bird. And you have to try to get these little coins, which is tough. Whoop! Because all the little critters around here can kill you in one hit. And you can't play with the D-pad, which is pretty interesting. I feel like they give you that option a lot, but... I like that it kind of forces you to play with the joystick. I like playing my 2D platformers with the joystick. I mean, the option would be nice, but... Oh, something that you... Pro if you get this game, um, when you first turn it on, it has HD rumble, and every time that you fly, it does HD rumble, and it is so annoying. My, like, thumb started to go numb with how much it was rumbling. I was like, no, thank you. Ah! Dumb move. Some of the levels are difficult. You know, it's, you have to really try a couple of times and they rank each level with skulls for the difficulty, but it's difficult enough whoop, to give you a little challenge. I actually really wish that this was like way more fleshed out because the mechanics are fun. Like I like this little flight because, so for example, I'm gliding down, hit A and I fly up a little bit. Boop. Boop. Oh. Yeah, it's just fun to kind of cruise around. It feels really good. I wish that it was more of a fleshed out game. Then this is supposed to be an arrow showing you where to go for more coins. But I gotta see, there's probably a little heart chest over here. Yeah, there's a little chest in the corner. Boop. So we get a little life, I think. I don't even know, to be honest with you. Yeah, this, it's it's a very low budget game, but that's why I kind of wanted to make a video about it because I don't know if there's going to be any other videos on it. So let's let's play this one. So let's, hoo hoo hoo. Yeah, it's just a fun, it's, it is fun. 
I was really shocked because when I first started, first off, I thought that you'd be able to jump because the tutorial is kind of, it's very okay. Um, but I just assume you would jump and it, it doesn't feel like just a jump. It really is just flying <coughs> for a little bit. I guess that's a, that's a bear or a dog. I, I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. Here we go, and these little bird boxes are your little checkpoints, which I thought was pretty funny. And we'll play through this, and then we'll pop over and we'll do a, a level in the other world. And um, each, each little world is capped by how many of these little coins you get. I don't know. Definitely a nice little Surprise. Woohoo! Little squirrel, bro. Damn. He doesn't just like plop up there, too, so you have to rip. God! So, at 200 coins, you unlock this ice world. Could have sworn that I already played one of these. We need 500 to go into the desert. So let's peep. Let's try a really difficult one and see how tough this gets. Over the sea. Really? Because it's, it's ice, but all right, whatever. That water's gotta be cold. not expecting a ram or a sh I mean I was not expecting a sheep and what is this little dude weird sheep all right this better get a little more difficult at four difficulty skulls Got eaten by a uh, buck tooth fish. First time I ever said that sentence before. Oh, yo. Totally press B because you jump. In this game, you fly with A, and in every other game ever, you press B to jump. Except for Zelda, which was weird as shit. All right. What's the move here? We gotta see. All right, I guess that's the move. You gotta just glide down and uh, fly back up. Woo hoo hoo! Ah, sh <clears throat> Yeah, I'm curious to see what um, everybody in the comments is gonna think about this, because. I'm not saying that this is the next 10 rated platform or anything like that, but it's interesting. I've also been playing like a ton of strategy games, so having a little platformer. A cute little platformer. It's nice. Ah! There we go. Alright, I died twice for this. Come on, bro! You can't swim? Little bird can't swim? What about ducks? What about penguins? 
about geese? Pelicans? If I die on this level, it's gonna be a little embarrassing. Alrighty, well that was my game over and then you see it goes right back to the overworld map and you just try again. Um, so like I said, there are 32 levels in four different worlds and I haven't found any Easter eggs yet, but the game says that there are some. Um, but yeah, I don't know, if anybody gets this game, please let me know because it, it'll shock you for $2.30, I think it's actually worth the purchase it's pretty interesting and the flight and glide feels good and i haven't played a platformer like that i guess i haven't played owlboy that'd be the one i guess i don't know that could maybe feel like this but if anybody gets this please let me know um i'm the flana fox tim swarnick if you like this video please subscribe if there are any um, new games coming up that you want me to do a video for please let me know uh follow me on twitter at the flannel fox i'm really trying to build that twitter following um that's that's it. Y'all have a great week. It's Monday. Um, I hope everybody's week is going good. And see you next time, Switchers.